If you want to know what has been driving the Nigerian property market, then stay tuned to Housing Development. It is an inspiring platform showing a series of exciting topics that cover the property market in a global context, ranging from real estate, home interior designs, and innovative architecture designs of estate developers from across Nigeria. As always, I am Flora Annie, your Housing Diva. I'll see you right after this news flash. Stay tuned. <laughs> The Lagos State Government on Monday accused some property owners of converting their residential buildings into religious centers in order to avoid paying the land use charge. The State Commissioner for Home Affairs, Dr. Abdul Akim Abdul Latif, who stated this at the annual ministerial press briefing to mark the third year in office of Governor Ambedi's administration, warned those indulging in such to desist from it and operate within the ambit of the law. The Federal Minister of Power Works announcing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, has said that the challenges of urbanization comprises overcrowding, homelessness, lack of sanitation, traffic jams, unemployment, social disruption, and crime. Speaking at a public lecture at the London School of Economics, he said Nigeria government is working to fix these challenges and was confident of a better future for Nigerians. Barrister Festus Adebayo, Chief Executive Officer of the Annual Housing Show, the Abuja International Housing Show, has said that the 12th Abuja International Housing Show is being designed to feature innovations that will make it a remarkable improvement of past housing shows in Nigeria. The CEO who spoke recently in Abuja said that 12th Abuja Housing Show will allow for full participation of domestic and international public institutions as well as the organized private sector, adding that all the professional businesses that constitute the building and construction industry are encouraged to key into the trade and development opportunities that will be afforded by the 12th Abuja International Housing Show. <laughs> For more details on the news flash, visit www.housingnews.org.ng. Moving on, Nigerian workers who are the driving force of the nation's development because of their invaluable contributions to the growth of the economy, join their counterparts to mark May 1st, known as Workers' Day. As I celebrate this day, this is what they desire. Of the workers in Abuja don't have houses. It's only those, the big ones, the politicians and the bourgeois, they are the ones that own houses. And even the ones that they are renting to people. A poor man, a poor civil servant cannot rent two rooms in Abuja. There's nothing we'll tell govern, the government now to do for us because they will keep promising, promising, promising until they will no longer promise again. The, the area of the, the government that have treated the workers in the area of housing is too bad. It's too bad that the staff of the federal government will retire after for some certain years of attack. Writing concern about the mortgage fund of this house, you will not see anything. Before you can see, you will, be, you will begin to locate the document as if it's starting a, a fresh. You understand? Let them come to eat and resume for the people that are retired. Let them be getting their money. Immediately you retire, you pass that your passbook. What is supposed to be calculated to be given to you is supposed to be given to you immediately without wasting time. So that's why we are pleading for them to consider the workers. Even with the salary we are receiving is not even enough for us. Talk less of the housing allowance. 
They are keeping up promise, promise, they are increment, increment. For the, some years ago, there was nothing like that. So we are pleading to the government, they should consider workers. We are suffering. Now it's hardly you can even get accommodation for 150,000. But before you know now, the they will say their house is 350, this and that. And they are promising us they want to build uh, this thing for us. They want to build house for us, they want to give us quarters. And not everybody that access for this thing, we don't even know. We are there, they, they promise, they are continuing promising, promising us up to this moment. There is nothing, they have not done anything for us. We are pleading to them, they should consider us. In really sense, they knew the level of our income. And the housing in question, they pretend to make it that they are, they are helping workers, but they are helping themselves. Because where a government who says is establishing a housing loan or whatever, and they are taking the price of 10 million, where will the workers go and get the money from? If housing has become unaffordable for the employed citizens, especially civil servants, what then is the fate of those in the informal sector? Why do developers dwell more on building luxurious and expensive houses beyond the reach of an average Nigerian? The desire of every civil servant is to have a place to call home before and after retirement. The government needs to look into the housing plight of the civil servants. My name is Amal Pepul, oh. a former Minister of Lands, Housing okay. and Urban Development with so much interest in housing. Since I want to encourage okay. you to keep watching Housing now. Development Program on AIT. Now, talking of one way of solving the housing plight of civil servants, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria managers of the National Housing Fund in ensuring all Nigerians benefit from this fund introduced the Home Renovation Loan, a product that enables contributors assess mortgage loans for the renovation or improvement of their existing homes. How has a Nigerian worker benefited from the scheme? Take a listen. One of the aims and objectives of the National Housing Fund Act No. 3 of 1993 is to ensure constant supply of loans to Nigerians for the purpose of building, purchasing and improvement of residential houses. In a bid to ensure that more Nigerians benefit from the National Housing Fund, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria two years ago introduced the Home Renovation Loan, a product that enables contributors assess mortgage loans for the renovation or improvement of their existing homes. The Home Renovation Loan is a product specifically designed for Nigerians who are contributors to the National Housing Fund and desire to renovate or improve existing properties which are personally owned by them or through family ownership. Since its creation, so many Nigerians have benefited the sum of one million naira each to give their home a first lift. Let me use this opportunity therefore to emphasize that the loan facility being enjoyed today by public servants is the outcome of a partnership between the Federal Government Stamp Housing Loans Board and the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, which started since 2015 to ensure that all contributors to the National Housing Fund enjoy certain benefits before they retire from service. At the African Public Service Week 2017, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria disbursed 643 million naira to 740 federal civil servants, bringing the total amount given out under the Home Renovation Loan Scheme to the federal civil servants through the Federal Government Staff Housing Loans Board to 1.2 billion naira for 1,347 beneficiaries. As the head of civil service of the Federation, I am overwhelmed that the efforts of the Federal Government Staff Housing Loans Board and the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria to fulfill their mandates of providing mortgages to the public servants to build, purchase or renovate 
existing houses is being actualized despite the paucity of funds. And I want to use the opportunity here to really give a very big commendation to the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria under the new managing director that he has shown so much commitment. He has, he has shown so much commitment to the vision of getting civil servants to have their own homes or at least renovate the existing homes they have. And that is why he has worked tirelessly with the Executive Secretary, Federal Government Staff Housing Loans Board, to make today's event a reality. Beneficiaries of the Home Renovation Loan Scheme comprise federal and state civil servants, as well as employees of the organized private sector. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria has disbursed 3.35 billion Naira home renovation loans to 4,342 beneficiaries across the country. for the housing needs of Nigerian civil servants and the generality of Nigerians, the Nigerian Mortgage Refinance Company PLC, Nigeria's leading mortgage underwriter, has spent a collaboration agreement with Cohort Housing Corporation, promoters and developers of the land of Hornet City development. What's the report? The Nigerian Mortgage Refinance Company PLC, NMRC, has spent a collaboration agreement with Cohort Housing Corporation, promoters and developers of the land of Oni City development. The partnership agreement, which was executed on the 25th of April 2018, will see both companies collaborate towards the delivery of between 15,000 and 20,000 housing units in different phases over a five-year period. Cohort's transaction structure also includes off-take arrangements of up to 10,000 affordable housing units with the Federal Integrated Staff Housing Scheme FISH through the Office of the Head of Service of the Federation and the Federal Government Staff Housing Loan Board. According to the acting CEO of NMRC, Mr. Kende Ogundimu, the collaboration between cohorts and NMRC presents a huge opportunity to make a difference in home ownership in the nation's capital. The whole MOU is designed such that we can kickstart the process of actually building the houses uh, by cohorts, getting the right uh, infrastructures in place and all other things needed to make the houses affordable to Nigerians. NMRC will now come in at the end to provide the refinancing when the mortgages have been taken out on those properties. So the MOU is just to kickstart that process to say, okay, we are committed uh, to being a partner in this agreement to make homes available to Nigerians. Also speaking, Thomas Eleo Ramo, a representative of Coat Housing Corporation, said Coat Housing Corporation saw the need to provide affordable houses, both in the private and public sector, amidst the housing deficit situation in the country. We realize that there's a lot of housing deficit if you look at the civil service side. So what we've decided to do was come together to find a solution to provide houses for Nigerians. The Nigerian Mortgage Refinance Company, PLC, and MRC raises law long-term funds from the capital market, from mortgage refinancing and by extension promotes affordable housing development and home ownership in Nigeria. My name is Dr. Mrs. Hanato Adamufika. Actually, I'm a great fan of this uh, program. Every week, I stay back and watch uh, AIT to ensure that I listen to what they say. And I want to encourage uh, all Nigerians to watch this program. <music>
Watin Housing Development the authoritative source of housing information. When buying a property, there are a number of things to note. Various considerations come into play. From a legal perspective, Barrister John Carlo will enlighten us on what a buyer should note when buying a property. For a buyer or somebody to buy a house, um, the first thing to do is to do what we call due diligence. And how do you go into, how do you do your due diligence before buying a house. You have to ascertain the title of the house, number one. As a matter of fact, it's not just the house that is an issue that you'll ascertain. In most cases, there'll be need for you to even go beyond that to find out the title of the land itself. Who is the owner of the land? How was the house built? Is it a house that was built by the person that want to sell to you? Or is the person that is selling to you, uh, did he buy from another person as a completed house? If that is the case, you now go for that to find out whether that house is under mortgage. If it is under mortgage, what is the uh, type of mortgage? What is the status of the mortgage? Then these are the things you do. Then apart from that, and which is most even important, is for you to find out whether that house is encumbered. Uh, for instance, if you're buying a house, there will be need for you to check whether the owner is a, a politically exposed person. If he's a politically exposed person, you see, you have to be very, very careful in the sense that you would not like to buy a house that after two days, uh, maybe EFCC will tell you, oh, we've taken over the house, or the house has been forfeited by, by God has given an order for the house to be forfeited. So these are the things you have to do. Or that the house has even been overtaken by Amcon. You know, these are the things you have to find out before you go into buying a house, which is very, very important. Are you looking to buy property in Nigeria or get information about affordable home ownership opportunities, including NHS and other mortgage options? Then mark your calendar to attend the 12th Abuja International Housing Show from the 16th to the 19th of July 2018, holding at the International Conference Center, Abuja, Nigeria. Get to learn about developers-led initiatives on down payment assistance programs. Find out about new projects, developments around the country. Do you need affordable refinancing? Need help with past due mortgage issues? Facing eviction or foreclosure? you get all the solutions at the 12th Abuja International Housing Show. Learn about affordable refinancing programs, understand your rights as a home buyer, connect with legal resources and foreclosure prevention services, speak face-to-face -face with mortgage lenders. You can bring your loan documents and speak with representatives from mortgage banks as housing finance organizations and institutions will be participating. From Nigeria, Ahmed Dangiwa, the MD of Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. From Kenya, Femi Adewale, the MD, Shelter of Freak. From South Africa, Kesia Rust, Executive Director and Founder, Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa. Simon Wally, Senior Housing Finance Specialist, World Bank. Deborah Ebb, Managing Director of Housing Programs at Overseas Private Investment Corporation, and a host of others. To register, visit www.abujainternationalhousingshow.com or call 08. Eight one six six five seven zero zero nine zero.
If what you need is a commercial office space or shop to display your goods and services, the Karamo District Market developed by Rural Homes Limited is the right place to visit. Here's a quick one from Rural Homes, the developers of the Karamo District Market. Now guess what? For watching this program, you stand a chance of winning a mobile phone simply by answering the question you see on the TV screen. This is proudly sponsored by Solignum, the number one wood preservative that has been tested and trusted for over 50 years. Now here is a question.
watching. If you miss any part of the program and you need to watch it over again or previous episode, you can do that via the YouTube channel Housing TV Africa. If you're into real estate and you need to showcase your housing projects, simply call 081-665-70090 for easy registration for the 12th Abuja International Housing Show. Download the Abuja International Housing Show app from Google Play Store. Let's do this again next week. I remain your housing diva, Flora Annie. God bless our dear country, Nigeria.